Hello YouTube family and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Lauren McKinney and I love making videos about capsule wardrobing and sustainable style made easy and effortless. Today I have a fun video for you. I've put together kind of five different scenarios and I'm taking one piece, this continuous piece, and I'm styling it for each of these different scenarios. So in today's video, that piece is my newest pair of denim shorts. But before we get started, if you could please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, that would mean the absolute world to me. Give me a thumbs up if you like videos like this and you wanna see more of it. Let me know down in the comments below if you like this genre of video and want to see more pieces styled for different kinds of scenarios. Don't forget to follow me over on Instagram. My handle is on the screen. And if you entered my giveaway that I put up about three weeks ago, I'm announcing the winner today. So definitely go over to my Instagram um, to see if you were the lucky winner or not. And if you weren't, that I post regularly on my stories, have been experimenting with reels, and really need to get more consistent about posting on my feed. Anyways, practice makes perfect. So head over to my Instagram and give me a follow. Let's go ahead and get started. Now before we get into the different scenarios, I want to talk about this specific pair of denim shorts a little bit. So these denim shorts are from Reformation, which is an ethical clothing brand, and I really liked them. They are a nice button fly, they feel very good quality, and they have the distressing, which I think is a little bit edgy and softens a lot of my more feminine pieces. Now these shorts are a little bit longer than your average denim short, and that was a really intentional decision on my part. I am particularly bottom heavy um, and whenever I wear short shorts, particularly in denim that is high waisted, it tends to ride up a lot whenever I'm walking or when I'm sitting and so it ends up looking like I'm just wearing a baggy pair of denim underwear and that is just super not comfortable. So the longer length helps me to feel more comfortable and more covered up, but the distressing helps to show just a little bit more skin, so I think it really balances itself out. I've honestly gotten a lot of comments on these denim shorts being like, oh, those aren't flattering on you, you should be wearing those, but at the end of the day, to me, I'm just going to wear what I like to wear and what I think looks good on me, and so, you know, if you don't like the shorts, that's totally fine. You can continue watching or not watching the video, um, but I really like the shorts and that's why they're in my wardrobe. So don't let anybody discourage you from wearing a piece because it's not traditionally flattering for your body type or whatever. If you feel good in it and you like it, then you should wear it. So for this first scenario, we're going to start pretty casual. The first scenario is I'm going to an amusement park with friends, it's really hot in the summertime, and I'm gonna be walking around all day. Now specifically, I'm pretty close to a park called Knott's Berry Farms, and so that's what I envisioned when I put this outfit together. So as a foundation, I'm gonna go ahead and start off with a t-shirt and shorts really casual so that if I sweat in it, it's not a big deal. If I spill something on it, I can easily wash it. So that's really great because you know what happens at amusement parks. You tend to get messy and you tend to get sweaty. So I've definitely thought about that as I added this black t-shirt top. So I started off with one of my basic styling tips. I do this for nearly every single outfit in this video, and that's because I really have shorter legs and I like to lengthen them and bring them up. So I'm gonna go ahead and tuck my shirt in so that I can bring up that line um, higher up on my waist and give my legs a little bit more length. Now we know that at an amusement park, comfort is key. You're gonna be standing around a lot, you're gonna be walking around a lot. So I've gone for a great pair of sneakers. So right now, this is a pretty basic outfit. Nothing super exciting is going on. Well, now that's going to change because this is where things get a little bit more interesting. When I go to an amusement park, I always start with my hair down and then by the end of the day, I cannot resist the urge to just tie my hair up in a bun or just get it off the back of my neck because I'm super hot. Instead of going for my traditional bun or high pony, I'm gonna go for some space buns. Now these are kind 
kind of messy and fun. They're almost a little childish, but I don't mind because we're at an amusement park. We're having a blast, we're laughing like kids, we're screaming on roller coasters. So this is a really great hairstyle for that. It's both different and interesting, but it also is very practical because it gets the hair off of me and lets my neck breathe so I'm not like sticking to my hair. That's gross. But I know you know what I mean. Now I always wear sunscreen when I go to an amusement park, but it's also great to have another level of protection. So to keep it enjoyable, I'm going to pull out this adorable bucket hat that I recently added to my capsule wardrobe. Now, I know that the bucket hat is really trendy right now. It was a big deal in the 70s, a big deal in the 90s, and now, 30 years later, it's a big deal again. And I know that I often speak to the importance of emphasizing classic pieces in your wardrobe that don't go out of style so that you don't have to repurchase every single time a new trend rolls around. But I think that accessories are a really good way to embrace some trends without having to rebuy your entire wardrobe. So adding a couple of trendy pieces here and there can help to refresh the classic pieces that you already own without both spending a lot of money and just consuming a lot of fast fashion. This hat I specifically got from a local store, so it feels really good to support a local business while also adding a little bit more fun and joy to my capsule wardrobe. So I've added a gold necklace just to top things off. I think this look is super fun and practical, comfortable in the shorts, comfortable in the top, comfortable in the shoes, some protection on my head, hair is up, and I'm ready to have a great time. this next denim shorts outfit is that I'm going out to dinner with Caleb. So I'm going to start with two really contrasting pieces. My denim shorts that are casual and distressed and frayed at the hem and a super classic white button down. From the very beginning, I have established this nice irony that's going to be eye catching. So of course I could just tuck this in and keep it buttoned where it's at, but I wanted to try something new. I've seen some other kind of fashion bloggers do this. Um, G Mary, I think that's how you say her name, I'm not sure, has done this. And then I believe I've seen Dearly Beth Bethany do this a couple of times, but unbuttoning it a little bit lower than you're comfortable with, but then hiking the shirt up and laying it across your shoulders so that you're really highlighting your collarbone. I think this is a really beautiful way to change up the neckline of a classic white button down. You're really shifting the dynamic from, oh, this is just another white button down to, wow, this white button down has been styled super intentionally. So I'm doing that and then I'm going to cuff the sleeves because I always do and you guessed it, I'm going to tuck my shirt in. So I've already created this really beautiful, elegant silhouette up top that shows just enough of my chest, highlights my collarbone, and shows the thinnest part of my arm to really give the top of this outfit some nice elegance and structure that contrasts with the casual and distressed nature of my bottom half. Next, I'm going to add yet another super classic and elegant piece to this to sandwich my denim shorts with elegance on either side. I'm adding my cap toe slingbacks. The cap toe silhouette is super elegant, has been around for years, and I think it really, really makes this outfit look nice. Next, I want to highlight this beautiful neckline even more. So I'm going to do what I can to frame it nicely. In order to do that, I'm going to pull my hair back into a low, messy bun. It's casual, it's effortless, but it gets my hair out of my face so that it's not bothering me when I'm eating, but it also highlights this neckline that I've created with my button-down shirt. To further emphasize that and to add just a little bit of edginess maybe, I'm going to layer some necklaces to decorate this beautiful framed picture I've created around my neck, um, but to also bring a little bit of sparkle and interest to the outfit. Outfit. To top it off, I'm adding a pair of sunglasses just in case we're eating outside and there's nothing like a simple, elegant black bag to finish off an outfit and make it look put together. So this outfit is great because it's both comfortable and elegant, but it also is very current and modern because of these more distressed or edgy pieces. 
I think this is an absolutely beautiful look and I can't wait to wear it on my next date. So scenario number three is a Sunday morning farmer's market in Southern California. So I've started off with a pretty simple foundation with my denim shorts and a three quarter sleeve length striped shirt. That was a mouthful. <laughs> to just add a little bit of interest, I'm going to do something that I haven't done in any of the other outfits, and that is to fold the shorts up. Now here, I've just folded them up casually, but if you wanted them to fold up and stay up all day long without you having to worry about it, a great trick is to fold it up to the length you want it all the way around, and then go on your jean shorts or whatever shorts you have with a hot iron and press it down. It will actually do wonders for keeping that fold up and you won't have to worry about fidgeting with it all day long. Next, I want to go for a comfortable but classic shoe. So I'm going for my leather loafers. I think these leather loafers add a little bit of preppiness and classic elegance to an outfit that would be really, really simple without them. Also, they're super comfortable for walking around. Next, I'm going to do some accessorizing. So one of my favorite things to do on the weekends if I don't want to take the time to do my hair or if I'm feeling fun or quirky or artsy, I like to add some big earrings and put my hair back with a bandana. So I'm wearing my croissant hoop earrings from Majuri. These are kind of my go-to statement earrings. I think they're super beautiful. I wear them usually when I can't wear a necklace or when I feel like my shirt is too busy to wear with a necklace. And so that's perfect here because I think I have a lot going on in the shirt with the stripes and I wanna let the shirt speak for itself. So not only am I going to add the earrings, but I'm also going to go ahead and tie my hair back with a bandana. On screen, you'll see how I do this. I put my hair back in a bun, I pull out some front fringe, and then I just tie the bandana right onto my head, and I kind of zhuzh it or push it forward a little bit to create a little bit of extra volume around my face. And last but not least, I'm going to add a tote bag to this look because you can't go to the farmer's market without a tote bag. This total look is weekend friendly, casual, practical for the farmer's market. It's one that I've worn before and I will wear it many times again. All right. Scenario number four is a wine tasting. Now, I actually don't drink wine or alcohol, but I had to kind of use that scenario because the first time I wore this hat, my husband said to me, Lauren, you look like you're going to a wine tasting. So I decided to run with it and kind of style up what I would imagine to be a wine tasting. Maybe this is like a late afternoon lunch or tapas or just a casual dinner run. So I'm starting off with my denim shorts obviously the star of this entire video and I'm going to pair it with my handmade puff sleeve blouse that is linen. This is one of my favorite tops. It's super perfect for the summertime because it's light, it's fun, and it's super feminine. So first things first, I'm going to style up my basic pieces. So I'm going to start by pulling my puff sleeve top down over my shoulders so that my shoulders are exposed. The great thing with this elasticated neckline is that I have the flexibility to do that. I can wear it in several ways and I really love the versatility that it gives me. Because I've dropped the shoulders down a little bit, now the top is longer enough that I can tuck it in all the way around my pants. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and lengthen my legs like I like to do. Next, I'm going to add a pair of leather sandals. Now, these are great because they're a little bit more formal than my Birkenstocks, but they're still super comfortable. If I had my pick, I would probably go back and buy a pair of leather sandals that didn't have the ankle strap across them, just because I think the ankle strap does cut up my legs a little bit, and so it just is a visual kind of choppiness that disrupts the long line and kind of messes with that leg lengthening effect that I'm trying to get by tucking my shirt in. But no worry, I'm just going to wear them because I like them and they're super comfortable. But now I know for next time, whenever these wear out or I can't repair them anymore, to not get a pair of sandals that have a strap across the ankle. 
So the accessory that I am going to add to make this outfit even more personal is a hat. I've been getting into hats a lot more recently and I think it's a lot of fun and it brings a lot of interest to an outfit. So this is a beautiful wool hat that I got at a local store here in Southern California. It's actually made in Southern California so it's a really beautiful local artisan hat and I think it adds a really perfect touch to this outfit. I think this look is perfect for a wine taste if you're into that or for a early dinner or even for brunch. All right, and our last scenario, scenario number five, is a outdoor concert in the evening. Now, in the summertime here in Southern California, there are a lot of towns that have these really beautiful outdoor spaces, whether it's a nice lawn or a beautiful outdoor amphitheater where they do a summer concert series. And thankfully, this summer, most of those things are starting back up again, which is so exciting for me because I love, love, love going to concerts in the summertime. Whether it's a more exciting concert or a classical music concert, I really just enjoy live music and the community that it brings. And so I've put together this outfit as an example of what I would wear. Now in my community specifically, our outdoor space has an amphitheater, so I don't have to worry about sitting in the grass or anything like that. So I've started with my denim shorts, of course, and a beautiful silk camisole. So first things first, I'm going to go ahead and tuck it in because that's the way I do things. Next, I'm going to add my pair of sneakers. Now I think that you could probably go more formal with a shoe if you wanted to, but because this is an outdoor concert, you can really go as casual or as formal as you want to, or at least that's what I've seen in my experience. Because I like the way these sneakers look, I'm going with them. So to keep myself from getting cold, I'm going to go ahead and layer a sweater on top of this. I'm just going to drape it over my shoulders so I can either wear it like this for warmth or if I get even more chilly or it's an unusually chilly night, I can actually put the sweater on and I also think that looks great. There's something about a long sleeve top with shorts that I just really, really like. Next, I'm going to add a black belt for a little bit of bling, and I'm also going to echo that in the necklace that I'm wearing up top. So this completed outfit is great for an outdoor concert series in the summertime. It's comfortable, it's fun, and because we're in the coolness of the night, adding a sweater over your shoulders is a really smart decision to keep yourself from getting chilly. So that's that for today's video. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed these five scenarios and the outfits that went with them. I also hope that you enjoyed this kind of styling one piece across all of these scenarios. I think that's a great way to play around with your closet. So definitely try it out if you haven't already. Please subscribe to this channel if you like videos like this and you would like to see more of them. And if you do like videos like this, you should go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Once again, if you entered into my giveaway three weeks ago, I'm announcing the winner on Instagram. So here's my handle, go over there and check it out. And if this is your first time here, definitely go over there and check it out anyways, because I wanna get to know you. It's been an honor to spend this time with you today and I hope you have a wonderful week. Thanks for watching. Bye.